awesome. She looks uh, great. For those of you who don't know Brie Larson. She's Scott Pilgrim. There you go. She plays. Uh, <laughs> I don't know what you were going to say. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> no, you go ahead. That that's 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 Ramona. That's right there. <laughs> right, right, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I have a song about Ramona. I just love Scott Pilgrim. I'm sorry. But like if you've it's seen a really good movie. It really is. It's very good. Um but yeah, she plays in that. She plays in that uh she won the Oscar for um Room, her performance in Room. Mm-hmm. You know, so um she's a great actress. She was in that show uh United States of Terror, that comedy show. Uh, you can see okay. that on Netflix. Um, I'm a Brie Lawson fan, I guess. I, I apparently really? I know everything she's in, like, apparently. But yeah, she's like she's good and she looks awesome in that like that fan made poster uh, mm-hmm. of Captain Marvel. She looks great in it, and I can't wait to see her be that role. And I can't wait to see Captain Marvel on the big screen. Me too, brother. It's like their response to Wonder Woman. That's um, exactly what it is. Yeah, <laughs> let's, that's, let's, that's be real. It is. <laughs> let's be real. Um, now, in television Netflix news, um, as far as Marvel and all that goes, is that, um, and I know you talked a little bit about DC television news with Supergirl and The Flash, and um, mm-hmm. a lot of those trailers came out and the crossovers and stuff, but um, Luke Cage is coming, mm-hmm. uh, and he's coming with absolute vengeance. I mean, his trailer looks amazing. Um, everybody's super hyped about it. Um, and they also released a uh, Iron Fist trailer teaser, uh, which looks amazing. If you haven't checked it out, you guys, I can't stress enough to you. Go to YouTube. Pause us. We'll still be here. <laughs> you know what I'm Come back. Go see these trailers. Um, the Iron Fist looks good. They did a teaser for de- the Defenders, and I'll let you know it doesn't have anything in it that you can really see right now. Um but it's just exciting to know that it's coming. And also um, another really cool thing that happened is uh, on ABC, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. is getting Ghost Rider. Yes. Check out that teaser trailer. That That is awesome. <laughs> um, and, 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 you know, me and you, Menace, we were talking about it a little bit before. It's just that, you know, I think Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. is at this point now where they're kind of revving things up and they really need that standout character that everybody knows right? Um, right. to really help the show. Like when the show first aired, that first season, you know, Samuel L. Jackson was in an episode. You mm-hmm. know, they had... Um, they had Coulson. They had, you know, people from Thor guest well, starring. Yeah. Coulson. Yeah, the, yeah, people from Thor guest star who uh, that chick actually ended up being in... Um, what's the new show she's in? With all the tattoos. Hmm. Let's investigate. <laughs> I want to know now. <laughs> yeah, and I watched the show, so I don't even know. Um, she's in Blind Spot. Yeah, okay, Blind Spot. Ah, I it's see. actually a pretty good series. Um, I would suggest watching that, but that's neither here nor there. But um, yeah, so they had a couple of people in it that really kind of helped push the first season, you know, over over the line, and now they're kind of retracting. Which is which is kind of sad because as the seasons go, for me, I feel like it's getting a little bit better every time, you know. It is, and they started like, adding the powers. You know, at first it was yeah. just depowered people. In the first season, it was mostly tactical, a lot of guns and shooting, and then they started adding powers with giving, you know, making Daisy. Thing, I, huh? I think that's a good thing, though. I agree. I agree. I think they did it just so they could have you know people with powers on TV and shit. Uh, Because for the longest time, that was, like, a big no-no, you know? That's why they had Arrow, and that's why they had, you know, all these other shows. But, like, I feel like this is a move in the right direction. They're ramping it up even more with Ghost Rider, and um, I feel like it's just going to take it to the next level. I'm super excited about it, and I'm glad that they're really taking that um, that step, you know? Because they really need it with with the cancellation of Agent Carter, which I thought was sad. Because, honest to God, I really like the fact that we've got an in-depth kind of look into how all of this came about like mm-hmm. the the back the mother of all backstories right. and i felt like if agent carter continued every season we were going to get more and more information that we may not that the average reader um may not know you know what i mean like right. i don't read comics regularly so i don't know a whole lot of information but from watching her i know a, a whole lot more you know it made me a little bit more invested because you know, you see how it all came about. You see, you know, 
you see the origins yeah. of everything. You know, it's just yeah. You you see the um in the dark in the dark uh dark world Thor, Thor Dark World, um they were playing around with that um well they called it dark matter. Yeah, the dark it. force. It's the same thing. Yeah, you see that in Agent Carter. It's, you see that in the, the, same the, thing. the dark world, and you're gonna see it in Doctor Strange because that's the source of like his powers. The, yes. And you so see it in Agents of Shield as well. So I mean, it, it's great having those things to connect everything together. I, I I was a big fan of Agent Carter. I was uh, mad when they canceled it. Um, they should bring it to Netflix. They they very well could. And, um, you know, the thing about uh, Agent Carter was kind of interesting. Um, she bounces around from... Every, she's damn near in everything. She's on her own show. She's been in the movie. She's been, you know, Ant-Man. She's been in, you know, the Avengers. She's been back and forth and back and forth. And, and uh, she kind of just goes wherever the fuck she wants. She's been in damn near every... Uh, she's been in the most movies, I think. <laughs> right. right. Well, basically, yeah, because she's a part of the beginning of it, um, which is really, really cool. So, Yeah. Do you want to talk awesome. about some of the panels? Uh, well, yeah, I mean, I kind of talked about most of them. Um, you mean, like, other than Marvel or DC? Yeah, a little bit. I kind of want to talk about um, perhaps um, Arrow Season 5, um, which I'm not fucking watching. However, they are... You know, the Flashpoint thing is happening on the next season, of season three of The Flash. I, they're doing that storyline. So it could be beneficial for me to watch Arrow and see what takes place. I know John uh, Barrowman, uh, the guy who plays Malcolm Merlin, he's he's going to be on two episodes, I believe, of Supergirl. So mm-hmm. I, I will... <laughs> even, Supergirl's my favorite show. Arrow's my least favorite show. They're going to find some way to make me have to watch <laughs> that shit. You know what I'm saying? So the, it looks... It seems like it could be promising, but I know it's probably going to suck. But yeah. yeah, I haven't watched Arrow. Um, I always say I want to catch up with Arrow and The Flash. I feel like they're so far into it. It would I would have to literally take out like listen, a weekend or a week. Listen to me, LA. Watch first season one of The Arrow and season two, <laughs> then stop. <laughs> Just stop after that. Stop. <laughs> Don't do it. Don't do it. <laughs> and that's it. All right. First well, two seasons then... are great, but the, uh, yeah. Um, another thing that I saw um, in the news real quick, and it was actually not in this article that I had, but they have, um, there's a Vixen cartoon coming out? Or a Vixen, Vixen's going to oh, be in Oh, yeah, series? see, Vixen is Oh, fuck. How could I forget this? Vixen. All right. Let me take out my notes. My notes weren't out. So on Legends of Tomorrow, second season, Vixen is a regular cast member now, which is the only reason I'm probably going to watch this because I was I was sick of Legends, too. Rip Hunter is a horrible captain. He's he's, he's fucking horrible. Almost towards the end. Like I was I was kind of with like the beginning. I was kind of like, eh. It's okay, I'll watch a couple episodes. Exactly. By the end, I was like, man, I'm just watching it because I want to see how this season ends. But I was just like, Jesus Christ, hopefully it gets better. But um, Mm -hmm. not that it was terrible, but I think they have a lot of kinks to work out with this show. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I agree with that. I was exactly just what you said. I was like, yeah, let me see what this is about. It's kind of good. And then towards the end, I was just like, what the fuck? But I mean, (laughs) it's... They're, ha- they're going to have Stargirl, and they're going to have Vixen, which is why I'm going to watch the damn show. <laughs> yeah, like, And, of course, uh, his name is Franz Brahma. He plays um, Firestorm, the black guy who plays Firestorm. Mm-hmm. And uh, he's awesome. Did you know he's British? Fun fact, he's British. Really now? I didn't know really? that. He sounds like he's, like, from Brooklyn or some shit when you watch the you show. But, like, he's, he's British, British and, like, he's a he's great actor. Brit. They're taking her jobs now. Right. <laughs> They're everywhere now. <laughs> They're everywhere. British black people are just everywhere. They're just everywhere. They're taking but like, over. Yeah. It's, like, it's, like, it's like they can't just hire like American blacks because we're like right here. Right, right, right. Yeah. Hollywood, it's, get... it's a lot of black actors here in America that y'all can get. Come I'm on just now. Saying. Hello. Someone hire me. <laughs> hire me, please. No, but um, hire seriously, us. these guys are doing very, very, very good job. Yes, uh, yes, I agree. I agree. I agree. In all very... seriousness, they're good. And um, yeah, Vixen is. Uh, I think she's British too. Actually, <laughs> she's uh, she's um, 
the only reason I'm going to watch it. Because I loved her in season uh, four. One of the best episodes of season four of Arrow was the, the episode with Vixen. And she's had a cartoon, uh, which was a web series. Uh, she yeah. had it for like the past year, I believe. It was really short. It was only like seven episodes. And each episode was like a few minutes. But it I'll was really... Right now. Huh? I'll tell you right now. Recast Hawk Girl. Okay. You don't like Hawk right Girl? Now. I mean, I like Hawk Girl, the character. I just didn't yeah, prefer like the, girl. the girl that played her. I felt like she was uh, a little whiny. And maybe that's what she played. But mm-hmm. it, and maybe that was just like the way they wrote her. But I was just kind of like, come on, man. I'm going to need you to be a little bit more. And maybe she will be because she's getting a little bit more um, confident, I guess. But Jesus Yeah, Christ. I don't think we're going to see her too much. I would see, this is one of the things I didn't like about season one because they were saying like towards the end that you weren't going to see uh, the Thanagarians or, you know, Hawkman and Hawk Girl again. And I was like, what the fuck? That's oh, what I want to see. <laughs> well, that's who the whole show is about. But you know who um, who else is, has left? Um, you know, they had the ice guy and basically the guys Captain from Prison Cole. Break. Yeah. Yeah, he's like, supposed to be coming guys. back. Uh, I forget his name. Oh, fuck his name. Yeah, but he's not coming back as a regular. He's going to come back every now and then. Of course, yeah. yeah. And hopefully, I hope they do that with, uh, you know, Hawkman and Hawk Girl. even though you, you, I know you don't like Hawk Girl. Um, I felt like she... I agree nice with you, girl. though. I just, you know... I agree with you. I felt like she wasn't the same Hawk Girl from the shows, that I, like the cartoons. Like, that yeah. Hawk Girl was like a tough badass, and this Hawk Girl was kind of like... Yeah, I, don't, I don't know. I don't, I don't think Come on I'm now, know. yeah. It's like I don't Carter, Carter. Right. <laughs> I'm in love with Carter, and now I'm in love with Superman. Oh wait, he's not Superman right. anymore. He's the Adam. <laughs> oh, but Carter and like Adam. And she Carter. just loves She's white like, boys. Hey. Firestorm, like, about, Firestorm tried to talk to her. She wasn't even, you she, know, she wasn't having none yeah, of this. Son. Yeah, she was. She was like, yeah, I'm. Yeah, you know, I you know how it is, Firestorm. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. But what about Powerless? Have you seen a trailer or anything for Powerless, that show? Huh? I have not. It's supposed to be a DC... It's supposed to be a comedy that takes place in the DC universe. And it's about these powerless human beings who, I guess, clean up or take care of, like, superhero problems. So say, like, Superman, like, crashes into a building and, like, they're, like, the people there, like... Wait a minute. So, are they a DC version of Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D.? Not necessarily. They're a DC version of, uh, I think it's called uh, Marvel <laughs> Wrecking Crew or some shit. Yeah. There's uh, there's something called, like, the Marvel... Shit. Hold on. It's some shit like that. But it's, like, it's, 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 a, uh, it's a comic... When I say comic, I mean like comical, like it's a funny uh, type of sitcom mm-hmm. type of show that takes place in the Marvel Universe. So it's kind of like The Office, right. but it takes place in the Marvel Universe or like Parks and Recreation. Yeah, that could be very interesting. But it takes place in the, let's say Marvel, I meant to say DC Universe or whatever. But um, it's like a Superman like crashed into a building and then it's like these people are just like waiting for the bus and they see it happen. They're like, oh shit, here he goes again. It's like shit like that. Like, that's what the right. whole show is going to be about. It's like a bunch of, like, funny, I guess, one-liners and the camera moving a lot and, you know, shit like that. Um, and it has a lot of funny people. It has uh, some people from uh, Firefly. It has uh, Vanessa Hudgens in it. It has a, it has a great cast from uh, what I can see. Um, but uh, some people don't like it. But I, I'm probably going to check it out just because of the cast, not necessarily the concept. Yeah. I mean, I think you should always give anything a try at least once. I always at least give it one episode, like the first episode or something, maybe the second episode. And if it just doesn't catch me, I'll try again later. But Right. Um, yeah, I'm the same way. I want to give everything a, a shot. It's got my man Abed from Community. <laughs> I'm a big Community fan. <laughs> um, so, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Uh yeah, I, I'll I'll watch it just for the cast, um, and just see how it is, and if it's bullshit, then I'm dropping it. But I will right. give it a shot. I will give it a shot just to I'm see. I'm interested to see what you think about it. Um, but I think do you have any do you have any more news? I think that might be all that I have. Um, I kinda, kinda, kinda. Hold on one second. <laughs> like I'm still looking. Right. <laughs> 
I kind of want to talk about some more panels. So, I mean, uh, well, I only said it because I know we're talking about panels. Well, I just want to just talk a little bit about iZombie. Did you see that one by any chance? I I don't watch iZombie. I mean, the only panels that I watched were the Marvel and the DC panels. (laughs) I got you. I haven't actually gone to watch, um, anything else but tell me about i zombie well it's it's technically dc it uh mm-hmm. it's vertigo which is owned by dc and mm-hmm. um it's 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 a great show <laughs> you should watch if you're not watching i zombie i suggest you you know anyone listening i suggest you go out there and, and at least watch the first season it is uh it's pretty damn good it's about a crime fighting zombie and that's oh, what nice. the fuck it is. <laughs> yeah, 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 that's pretty no. much it, you know but what? it's I done so I well. I've seen a small trailer for it or some something like that. It's um, like this this girly girl gets bitten and now she's a zombie and now she has to deal with that shit and it's like her her adventures. It's just it's just really well done. Um it's very funny. The uh lead actress is very good and um it's done well and it's I can't wait for the next season. Um, I also saw like the Alien Five panel. Oh, um, nice! I, I can't wait for whatever new shit Aliens. I'm a big Aliens fan. I watched like all the Aliens in like a weekend because I hadn't seen them. Oh. <laughs> I think it was this past year I did that, and um, <laughs> now I'm like super into Aliens and shit. So I can't wait to see this. Um, That's gonna be exciting, man. Is Sigourney Weaver gonna be in it? I think she is i think she I is so. uh let me let me go let me see let now me my Google my it. question is what i really want to know like forget all this stuff we've been talking about are they gonna have that bald chick from winter soldier in black panther like please somebody tell me they're about to announce who this chick actually is oh yeah she gonna... is yeah 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 i'm gonna need her to have like more lines you know what I'm saying? the scene where she was going up against black widow and then uh chaz Chadwick Boseman was like, as entertaining as that may be, you know, as that might be, like, because they, though, I know who that, hold on, let me find out who that is, hold on. Like, she was everything in that movie, like, she kind of stole, stole the show, like, a lot of people remembered that chick from the movie, like, it's crazy how you have one line. Right. (laughs) Move, or you will be moved. Ooh, really? Her name is Dora Milaje? Oh. She's a Wakandan woman who serves as one of Black Panther's bodyguards. Ah. She or she yeah. is a Dora Milaje. Yes, those are the uh female warriors. Yeah. Yeah. Um I'm trying to find the woman who played her. Like who is she? Let's see. What's her name? Um does anyone know out there? Put it in the comments below. Yeah, tell us who that is. Yeah, and if you have any more guys, if you have any more nerd news or anything that you saw or heard during San Diego Comic Con that was really, really awesome and you love to talk about it, like seriously, put it in the comments below. We love to talk to you guys about it, you know, instead of just talking to ourselves. Um, I'm always into new friends. So yeah. Yeah. Put your comments in the comments below. Let us know what I you thought about friend. San Diego Comic Con. Yeah, let us know. What were your favorite panels? And uh, the actress's name is Florence Kasumba. She's from Uganda. Uh, of course. And she looks off the chain in that scene. Yeah. <laughs> I'm looking she at the is. screen cap right now. Oh, my goodness. You know who she looks like? You know who she looks like? Who? She looks like... Um. Oh, my gosh. Who? Living Single. Oh! Of yes. course. Yes, she does. Of yes, course she, she does. Living single. What was her name in Living Single? Uh, it wasn't Erica Alexander, the chick. Yeah, uh, uh, Kyle and wasn't Regine. Maxine. Maxine she... Shaw. Yeah, son. yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, she does look like her. Yeah, she looks just like Maxine, son. Yeah, she does. She yes. really does. Well, I hope this chick has a very lucrative career because um, she is. Awesome. She's badass, definitely. And Sigourney awesome. Weaver is going to be in Alien Five, uh, according to um, Internet Movie Database. Here's some more so. random news. Um, they're doing another 
Kickboxer. It's like Kickboxer 5 or something like that. Mm-hmm. And um, Jean-Claude Van Damme is going to star in it. And also He's uh, Dave, Dave Batista. Uh, our very own Drax is going to be in that film. Awesome. Um, yeah. <laughs> Jean-Claude awesome. is going to actually be playing the sensei who teaches the kid to fight or whatever. And then the kid is going to go fight. Um, I was going to say Drax. He's going to go fight Batista, who is basically <laughs> the Tom Poe in this movie. That's awesome. I haven't seen any of the kickboxer films. What? You haven't even I'm seen sorry. the one with Jean-Claude Van Damme, the original? No, I'm sorry. Have you seen Bloodsport? About that. Oh my God! <laughs> you have got. Oh man! You're talking to somebody who just saw Rocky one oh, last month. Last <laughs> I just saw Rocky like two months ago or last month. Have, wait, have you seen The Last Dragon? No, I'm sorry. Oh. <laughs> I need to catch up on my like fighting movies. Before, I know uh-uh. this Kim cast is over. <laughs> <laughs> Oh uh, shit. Shut it down. Oh uh, shit. Down. I know. Oh my God, I know. Dude. I got a big ass list. Of mo- I haven't seen uh-huh. Rambo. Listen, I haven't seen uh-huh. Rambo. Uh-huh. Haven't seen The Godfather. Uh yeah. I haven't seen Scarface. I've seen Scar have you seen Scarface? No, I haven't seen Scarface. Oh. Uh, that's see- easy. That's that shit is on TV like every day. On B E T every other day. <laughs> Films, I guess it's like if it's not my really my genre or my my thing. Like I'm a martial arts, action, oh, okay. superhero, co- you know, maybe a comedy. Mm-hmm. Like other than that, like I don't go have, scary movies. Have you seen the movie Naked Weapon? No. That movie is awesome. <laughs> I'm just saying, it's a random movie to shout out. It's like, it's like Naked Weapon, but you ain't even like, yeah, it's so awesome. You know what I'm saying? You ain't seen Bloodsport. <laughs> yeah, I know. I need to see Blood. I know. Like, when you said that, I was like, damn, that sounds like some shit I should have watched. <laughs> you should even lose your black card for not seeing The Last Dragon, son. Who was in The Last Dragon? Who? Like, Vanity? Who? Vanity? Who is, who is Vanity? She was an 80s pop star. Uh, back when Prince was reigning, uh, Vanity. It's like it's like nobody that you've ever really. You know who else was in it? Ernie Reyes Jr. as like a kid. Mm. He was in it. Let me let me um, let me ask the internet. Blood I just never, never seen the show it. Enough? The show I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, <laughs> you know what we need to do? We may need to do one of them viewing parties son like well we just get on skype and view this movie because i can't even believe let's do it you, man let's do it we she would do, do this to me man we're supposed to be friends man right. you would <laughs> completely abuse me like this man like, <laughs> dang, dang. Uh, uh shit we gotta watch it let's, let's do it let's watch this movie you need to see that movie it's like a it, it's it's a cult classic is it's it better than cool. is it better than rocky It's you know, like you can't really <laughs> compare it to Rocky. Oh, it's different. It, it's absolutely horrible. Um, it's like a black exploitation film. Blood sp- wait, what oh, you talking about Enter the Dragon. No, I'm talking about The Last Dragon. Oh, the last I'm so sorry. I haven't seen Enter the Dragon either. The last Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm oh so my sorry. god. I wanna just stop saying shit now i'm gonna just stop saying shit (laughs) okay so (laughs) the last dragon uh oh wow that shit looks awesome do you know who bruce lee is yes i know bruce i've seen all it mans okay i know i know about i i I like kung fu movies wait a minute wait a minute wait a minute you've seen all of it mans and you have not seen one bruce lee movie i've seen uh what Bruce Lee movie? What? No, I don't think I have seen. That. It's on my list of yeah. shit to watch. I'm sorry. I need to watch Do you it. have the L Ray Network? Huh? <laughs> Shout out to the L Ray Network. Do you have the L Ray Network? No, I don't have cable. Ah. I don't have anything. I got Netflix. Ah. <laughs> 
Trust me, I have a big ass list that space. You know, space is a movie nut. He gave me a big ass list of shit to watch <laughs> that I have not seen yet. I bet you, space has seen the Last Dragon. Hold on, let me let me group text right now. <laughs> I can't believe this. Oh uh, shit! And we still taping too. Like you, just... yeah, right, right. <laughs> let's let's. I'm gonna close out, okay? <laughs> All right, guys. Well, let's let's close out. I'll do a closing real quick. All right, guys. Um, thank you guys for listening. Um, like I said. Anything that you experienced during San Diego, San Diego Comic Con that you want to let us know about, please feel free to put any comments uh, in the comment box below. Like and subscribe us. Come back and see us. And um, until next time. Peace out. Peace. Like, I think he was like sneaking alcohol or he was telling this kid to go get him some alcohol or something. I guess because he's not supposed to drink because he a pastor. I don't know. I hope you gotta keep watching though. I remember someone saying it. Like it picks up after a few episodes. But I mean in the in the comic, it's if uh I can explain that. I don't know if Andrew you're gonna read the comic. I'll read it, but I mean it, it won't change um, It's not like I'm taking notes. Right. Day, 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 dreamers. Good night.